nerds. Improv. Nerds. Improvisation, you are the writer, you are the director, you are the actor, you are the choreographer, you're all of these things in one, which is incredible. Uh, it's incredible that you have all these gifts. I mean, you specifically, or, 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 or anyone doing improvisation. But in film, you are one of those things which I think improvisers, I don't know, maybe are control freaks to a certain extent. I think that to then have to cede essentially nine of the 10 things that they can do over to other people, that's kind of freaky. Um, so, But you, you described yourself as a control freak. So yeah, what happens But when, I'm the director, so I can be a control freak. Right, but what happens when um, the, con you know, the control freak of an improviser and then a control freak of a director, how, does, how do those guys make that dance work? Uh, or how do you make that dance work? Well, I think it takes... So Pasquese, I mean... Dave Pasquese. He's... Well, he's a he's great weird, actor. actually, because yeah, he's too good of an actor, actually, for this to work, really. But um, he, he said that... Um, he, he felt that he, what, we weren't going to burn him. Like, he's done enough big, small, medium films to have done the improvisations and for the director to have basically picked the worst performance and to kind of make him look like shit. And he had told me, like, the thing that he thought was so good about Close Quarters and the reason why he, he worked with me on Open Tables is that he knew that I wasn't gonna make him look bad. I was gonna, like, get the best, most interesting. You know, they always say play to your, the height of your intelligence, right? And in terms of improv, it's like, well, you make the film to the height of your intelligence as well, and, and that's what we did. You know, TJ, too, and TJ is an incredible improviser, and he, it's an, it, I've been felt so honored working with him because he's been able to just like kind of uh, trust me honestly. I mean, it just kind of comes down to that. Just his. So if I'm gonna say something to an improviser, it's like you need to find good people to work with, and then you have to try and trust them, and know that there are other people in the room who are doing their work, and you need to just you, what your job in this moment is just to deliver your lines or hit your mark or do whatever you need to do or or shut up or just sit around or not do anything. If you want to get out of it at any time, it's fine That's with me. It's not what I want. Okay. What do what do. I, I want to try. I want this to feel real. It is real, okay? If you'd stop pushing me away. Pushing me away? You just told me I could leave if I want. I did that. I did. You gave me an I, open door. Right, because that's what you do to people that push you away. You give them space, and then they come back. You come back. What if I didn't? I don't care, as long as I have a child. I told you this. <laughs> All right, good, good, cut. Very good.